For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you today. Looking at Fritz 12, also the same interface is found in Ribka 4, Hyarx 13, any of the chess-based produced playing programs. This applies to all of them, but just for convenience's sake, I refer to this as Fritz. In fact, that's what I'm in here. I'm in Fritz 12. That's what I have loaded down here, the engine, you'll see. We're looking at handicap modes, sparring modes, ways to get a competitive game from the computer without getting killed by the machine every time. That's been a problem with chess programs for many years, at least with beginners and club players. It's hard to get a game against the computer without the machine just wrecking you. So the programmers have thoughtfully put in a bunch of features, a bunch of playing modes that allow the average player to get a good competitive game against the software without being destroyed time and time again. My personal favorite of these modes is friend mode, which I've reset for purposes of this demonstration. I will show you how to get there. If you go to training, the training tab, you'll see a button here that says friend mode. Go ahead and click on it. And this is how you start it. Now I'll tell you what friend mode is. And this was actually in development for quite a while. And there have only been a handful of programs that have actually used this down through the years. It's called an adaptive opponent. What this will attempt to do is Fritz will attempt to adjust its strength, to adapt its strength to yours. And it will do this, the more you use friend mode, the better it gets at it. It will basically make itself weaker or stronger from game to game depending on how well or how poorly you do against the computer. The way it is set up ideally is that the user, you, me, should win according to the programmers, about 25% of the time, about one out of every four games. In other words, you win enough not to get totally discouraged, but you lose enough that you're learning from your losses. You learn more from your losses than from your wins. And a lot of chess instructors, they, they give different percentages. I've talked to some professional chess teachers that say that the student should win about 40% of the time. I've heard others that say it, it should be as low as 10%. So we kind of take the middle ground here. You should win about one in every four games. That's what the programmers say. Over my years of playing against Fritz, I find it to be more like 20%. About one out of every five games I will win in friend mode. What this dialog will show you is, first of all, the number of games you've played. As I said, I've reset it, but it'll have a number here, zero games at this point, but it'll show you the total number of games you played in friend mode. Your score, obviously that's easy enough if the result is the way the program is intended. For example, if you have eight games, you should have a 25, per, and you win two of them, you should have a 25% score. So your score after a bunch of games this is after you've played 10 or more games, should be somewhere in the 20-25% range. Your handicap is a number that the program assigns. And what it is, it's like a golf handicap. The higher the number, the worse you're doing. The, be the lower the number, the better you're doing. So for example, if you have a handicap of 100, you're doing kind of okay, or less, you're doing, you're doing pretty well. If you have a handicap in the high three digits, 900, you're not doing that well against the software. But the handicap will go up or down from game to game. The better you're doing, the more games you're winning, the lower the handicap goes. The worse you're doing, the higher the handicap goes. It is possible to get a negative handicap. If you're a sufficiently skilled player that you win a lot of games in friend mode, you'll get a negative handicap. So that's all this is. This handicap number will go up or down from game to game to game. Every time you start friend mode, you, just, you should see a slightly different number in the handicap here, but you'll also see the number of games and your score. And ideally, if the software is doing as it is intended to do, you should see a number around 20, 25, maybe as high as 30% in your percentage score. But that's what friend mode does. It attempts to adapt its strength to your level so that you're going to win about one game in four, maybe one game in five against it. It's my personal favorite. I've used this a bunch down through the years. Uh, I've played a variety of engines in friend mode. Uh, one of the ones I missed from back in the old 16-bit days, which no longer run on 64-bit on operating systems, we had a couple of engines called Doctor. Uh, some of you may remember from 10 years ago, those of you who've been around with chess base for a while. And uh, Dr. 2 and I just hated each other's guts. Uh, I used to play that engine all the time, and it uh, 
just defied me at, at every turn, and I had this great rivalry going with HS computer in friend mode. It was just great fun, and it just brought me back to play again and again and again. Now today, I use a variety of different engines with it. I don't really stick with one engine very much, but it's a lot of fun to play against. Uh, what the handicap also signifies, by the way, is if you have a handicap of 100, basically it is equivalent to a pawn. It's in hundredths of a pawn. Um, the program will attempt to basically lose a pawn before it strengthens up a little bit and tries to play a decent later middle game and end game. Uh, likewise, if you ha have a handicap of 300, the program will attempt to lose a minor piece and then play a little bit stronger again in the middle game and end game. What it is is kind of a way of backing into the handicap position mode that we looked at in the last video, but instead of starting the game with a piece off of the board as you see here, Instead, it's going to try to drop some material and then play a little bit stronger against you. So it's kind of a sneaky way of giving you a handicap game, but it's a little more fun, too, because you're going to see these numbers change and you're going to be able to chart your progress. So that's what friend mode does. Highly recommend it. It's my favorite casual mode or my favorite training mode in the Fritz software. I have a, I've had a great deal of fun with this over the years, and I think you will, too. So please give it a try. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.